this your girl T. So I wanted to come out here and talk about our third favorite ATL rapper, honey. After T.I., Young Thug, then comes Rich Homie Quan. So what's going on is that Rich Homie Quan has been all over the blogs this week. A lot of folks have been really pissed off at him. If you guys have not heard, he had posted a video on Instagram of his son, Little Homie Quan, on his lap. And basically he's smoking a blunt and blowing the smoke in the air and the baby's on his lap. So when he posted that video, folks were really upset. A lot of his stands were making excuses for him, but a lot of people were really, really mad. They're saying that he has no business smoking in front of his child, let alone smoking with his child on his lap. What was he thinking? So it was just a matter of time before the video went viral. Child Protective Services decided to come knocking on his door. I bet you Rich Homie Quan was feeling some type of way when Child Protective Services rolled up to his house like, what? Anyways, this whole situation is insane. Rich Homie Quan is finally addressing the issue on Instagram. I want you guys to go ahead and check out his apology. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so you guys just saw Rich Homie Quan's apology. You know, so I just found this whole situation crazy. And, you know, he's not the only parent. I know a lot of parents who smoke weed around their children. There are some parents, as their kids get older, they smoke weed with their children. You know, and I don't think that that's okay. You know, if your child chooses to partake in weed and cigarettes, let them do that when they're old enough and their lungs are developed. I don't think it's okay to smoke around your child, especially a young child like that, because kids can develop asthma, they can develop emphysema, bronchitis, and all that stuff from people smoking around them. So I don't think that it's okay. But he says that this was a mistake and he wasn't thinking. And I, what I I didn't like because a lot of his stands were making excuses for him. They're acting like it was some type of conspiracy, you know, now how dare people hate on him and how dare child protection services be called. My thing is this, whenever you post something on social media, it doesn't matter if you're rich homie Quan or if you're the homeboy down the street. You cannot post something on social media, especially concerning children, and not expect for people to call DSS, not expect people to call child protective services. So if he wants to blame somebody for calling child protective services, he needs to blame himself for even posting that video. You know, he needs to be smarter next time and not post videos of himself smoking weed around his son. Or even better yet, how about not smoking weed around him at all? How about having a designated room in the house to smoke weed in so that way the weed smoke is not affecting the baby. You know what I'm saying? But this is nothing new. I've seen this happen time and time again, not only on social media, but in real life. I know many people who think that this type of behavior is okay, and it's not. Like I always say, whatever you choose to partake in as an adult, that's your business because you're grown enough to know the consequences. But it's not okay to include your children in your adult decisions. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. How do you guys feel about the whole Rich Homie Quan situation? Um, how do you feel about Child Protective Services now investigating him and saying that he could, you know, go to jail for this? And then how do you feel about Rich Homie Quan's apology? Do you think it was sincere? He just made a simple mistake, a simple lapse of judgment? Or do you feel like he's only apologizing now because Child Protective Services are involved? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and you can show me some love by watching, rating, and subscribing to my videos. Don't forget to share them and also don't forget to follow me on social media. And if you get a chance, make sure you check out lovelytea.com where you can purchase a coffee mug or a t-shirt. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.